There are hundreds of clinical trials open for patients with biliary cancer. It isn't easy to navigate the process. The words phase one, phase two, expansion, cohort, phase three are not always easy for patients or for that matter, even many doctors to understand. The Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation has provided an online tool to help navigate that process and surf through those hundreds of trials and make it easier to find something that would be a match, would be an option for a patient and potentially also help connect patients with other patients so that they can navigate this process together and provide support to one another as they participate in these different clinical studies. The Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation is trying to overcome some of the barriers that patients as well as physicians and treating providers face when they are trying to get their patient on a clinical trial. This particular effort is designed to make it easy and one click away from finding a treatment that would work for you or have the chance of giving you hope. This clinical trials website will allow both patients as well as providers to look and see if there is a clinical trial in the area they live or anywhere in the country that they may be able to travel to to participate in a trial. So why is it important to participate in a trial? What happens if you are on a study? These are good questions and often patients don't know the answers. The reason to participate in a trial is to see if new treatments that may become the future and become standard and improve outcomes years from now can be made available to you now at no cost to you because most of these clinical trials have sponsors that provide these drugs as part of their contract or their investment in your future and the development of this drug for your disease. One of the things that patients often think of is the travel, the burden it would pose on them. And when you think of the outcomes of patients on clinical trials, patients on trials anecdotally we have seen, especially biliary cancer patients, have lived much longer. Having been to the Cholangiocarcinoma Foundation annual conference, I've heard stories repeatedly of survivors who have participated in not one, not two, but several clinical trials and have been poster children for survivorship and for hope. And if the question is when, the sooner is always better. And why is that? Often patients don't realize that in order to have clinical trial results and outcomes, patients have to be somewhat similar. If some patients have had prior treatment while others have not, their survival, their outcome, their ability to tolerate drugs is going to be different. Someone that has already been on chemotherapy for a year may not be as tolerant of the side effects as someone who's starting their journey now. And because of that, having clinical trials that exclude patients who've had multiple prior therapies is something that we have to do to get the results that we can believe in that can be extrapolated to the masses. And hence, we ask patients if they would consider participation early as their first line therapy or possibly a second line therapy if their standard therapy hasn't worked because that is where most of the clinical trial eligibility criteria are set. Gemcitabine and cisplatin was a big advance for us in this field. It is now the standard of care. But unfortunately, much room for improvement remains. Response rates remain low and survivorship isn't as high as we'd like it to be. Participation in trials allows us to see if we can push the envelope, add something with minimal or no toxicity, and possibly even move away from this and see if other therapies, exciting new approaches, immunotherapies, other tar targeted pathways may be of benefit. So why participate in clinical trials? It turns out that biliary cancer patients, and for that matter, several patients with malignancies involving the gastrointestinal tract, frequently harbor, their tumors frequently harbor mutations. To make advances in this field, researchers are now developing studies, clinical trials, for patients who harbor certain mutations. Mutations like IDH1, FGFR alterations, have been seen in anywhere from 10 to 20, 25% of biliary cancer patients, which means in order to have one patient participate in the trial, we sometimes have to screen four and sometimes even 10 patients. And given the rarity of this malignancy, having as many patients as possible have this screening, their tumor tested for mutations 
and participate in this study is woefully important to make important advances in this field. In oncology, important strides have been made. In the last few years, several drugs have been approved. The FDA is sending messages out weekly to oncologists telling us about advances because patients like yourself, doctors like yourself, referred patients to participate in studies that gave us the answers, that told us who should participate, who will benefit, and who to exclude from a treatment that might be toxic, it might not help. So we encourage every patient, every provider to consider a clinical trial and as part of the NCCN hepatobiliary guidelines panel, this is something we stress and perhaps couldn't stress enough at every point at a treatment decision point in a patient's life. Do consider participation in a study. See if there's something else out there that can push the envelope and make a difference beyond what we have as standard. So let me give you an example of why it is so important for every patient with biliary cancer to consider participation in clinical trials. Currently, we have no drugs that are targeting mutations approved for biliary cancer patients. None. Compare that to lung cancer. Let me give you an example. In lung cancer patients, there is a mutation, an ALK mutation, that's present in about 5% of all lung cancer patients. And after screening 5,000 patients, they were able to find 347 patients to participate in the trial that allowed this drug to be approved. An oral pill, well tolerated, improving survival, prevents having to be on toxic chemotherapy. And this happened so easily in lung cancer because of how common it is and how easy it was to find these patients. But it was not a trivial task. 5,000 patients had to be screened to find 347. Compare that to biliary cancer. For every 600 lung cancer patients, there is one intrahepatic cholangiocarcinoma patient, if that. And if these mutations are present in 10, 20% of patients, we're still talking about screening 1,000, 1,200 patients to find them and accrue them and see if we can make a difference. So we need to partner with you. You are going to be part of the future. You are going to be the reason there is a future with new drugs, new hope, new options, targeted therapies for future patients that are diagnosed with this illness. So we encourage you to consider participation. Have that screening done early rather than late. And that is not just a request from me as a doctor that's taking care of patients, but also on behalf of all the other patients that are fighting this disease like you, with you, and ones that are to follow, because they need these options just like you do.